also you started the master's fitness collective so like what was the whole thing about that i uh, i mean i can't take credit all the credit because there's there was four of us at the time mm -hmm. um there's only two of us now um but there's there was four of us and honestly it, we were going to originally be a media company we were going to you know cover the masters athletes at the games and you know then COVID hit and COVID changed a lot of things for a lot of people um but you know bobby petrus uh, was like hey we should just host these athletes in indiana and i'm like yeah let's i mean we were supposed to we were supposed to support the games anyway so like let's just let's host it so we ended up actually taking those athletes that made it inviting them to indiana and and putting on a, a end of the season for them because um one of our one of our buddies heath moody who's been at the games like four times um you know we never got to see them compete because they didn't do any tv coverage so that's originally why this all started um and then you know it's just kind of grown from there. So we had like 120 people the first year. Um, I wasn't actually there, which is is wild because I was I was in Georgia making um, making my my daughter, I guess. Yeah, so, <laughs> that works. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, I, I wasn't in the room, but you know, whatever. Um, yeah. <laughs> but yeah. So it, and then the next year it was like 300 people, and then all of a sudden now we're at like 550 people. So it's it's our, our athletes, um, and it, it's been it's been quite a ride. Um, you know, we had to make some changes here and there, and and you know some people fell off, and you know, but it's it seems to be only getting better at this point. Mm -hmm. So it's um, as long as people want to do it, we'll do it. Um, we'll put it on and. You know, and it's really just for the master's community. It's not for like I can tell you, I don't I don't get any money from this. You know, it's one of those things where it's like it's it's because of the master's community that this exists. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so what what was it, why like Indiana for that location compared to like any place else? Yeah. So Bobby, Bobby lives in Indiana and he's like literally the mayor of Indiana. He's. <laughs> He knows everybody. He has all the relationships and, and we, we got a pretty, um, pretty ideal deal with, uh, the downtown Grand Wayne center because he lives in Fort Wayne. So, um, we ended up choosing Fort Wayne and then we moved to the Coliseum, which is a hundred thousand square feet. And we could pretty much do anything we wanted in there. And, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's, that's where we've been since. Yeah. And I, how are you looking to make this grow to even be bigger? Because obviously with, you have the elite athletes and the, mm -hmm. these guys get more like the majority of the like, attention compared to like the teens and masters, but mm -hmm. how are you trying to get, you know, more attention to your comp, your competition to get like more eyes, maybe more <clears throat> sponsorships or whatnot? You know, I mean, we, we're a, a CrossFit licensed event, so we're, we utilize CrossFit for that. Um, we uh man I, I don't know like it's it's been interesting uh we work this year we just decided that and we just struck a, a partnership with brian friend um so we're going to be working with him leading up to the competition um we have we brought on a social media person i mean it's there's a lot of um positive movement going on right now and and we're hoping that that leads to something that's you know even more efficiently run and, and well done uh, than last year was. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, obviously like having more coverage or like more eyes on there is a huge help, but I know, I know one of the yeah. big sponsors that you have is hero barbell, which I'm sponsored by them too. So you've been pretty much with them since like, was it day one pretty much? You know, they, the, we had three, a three year contract with them. Um, but my, I'll tell you both my gyms, we we struck a deal with them we're hero barbell gyms we have no more rogue barbells it's only hero barbells in our gym um it's and they're beautiful man you know, frank oh my gosh and yeah tony they do such a great job um it's really what they're doing is something special we're actually going to be changing out all our um comp plates as well to to, to uh to hero too I, have you yeah. have you tried those comp plates yet they're pretty nice Oh, really okay they did a really good job yeah the first the first thing that got me with the barbell um so 
it was the spin. Like I wasn't, mm-hmm. I wasn't ready for it. Dude, the, the, it, to be a bar that costs under $300 and to have that much spin and whip, like it's, I don't even know how they're doing it, but you know, keep doing it because they're doing a wonderful job. Yeah. Yeah. And I mean, are you planning to have them on for a little bit longer at all? Or what's the, what's the deal <clears throat> with that for hero? Well, I used I used to run our sponsorships. Now I, I kind of oversee the whole competition now. Um, so we have our sponsorship team working on them. Hopefully, you know, we continue that relationship. Um, personally, I plan on continuing my relationship with them. Well, no matter what is decided, um, cause they're just, they're stand up people and, and they make a great product. Yeah, definitely. So, um, how, obviously you said you like, what sponsors are you, are you guys mainly may, hopefully looking for for your competition like you know i know obviously you, i seem like you you may have like different tiers and whatnot so mm-hmm. what what are ones that you kind of like will align with your with your competition you know i think last year i i can go over what we did last year which is uh, arctic was just fantastic for us um you know they did all our cups for all our our athlete bags um and they did our, our swag bags for the podium. Um, Yeti always is a part of, of what we do. Um, they usually give us a, a certain allotment of money for, for sponsored gear. Um, Tier came through last year, um, you know, and they did all our apparel, which I wow. mean, they're wonderful. Um, working with Corey Berger is, was, was pretty, pretty cool. Um, Man, we have we have we do have a new title sponsor this year, which is 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 big news. Um, but I can't tell you who that is yet. Oh, come so, on. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're gonna we're gonna announce that very, very soon. But it's with what they're um how they're how they're supporting us, we're we're gonna allow them to go ahead and, and announce that and then we'll we'll share it out from there. Okay. And so for the masters athletes that are trying to get in there, are you going to use the open of like the top, like 40 or whatever to, to do it or just like open, like open registration? We have a qualifier in June, um, June 1st through the 9th is our, our qualifier. And then <clears throat> for teams, uh, we teams in 60 plus it's just sign up and go. Uh, okay. And we may or may not have a new division coming, um, this year. Uh, so keep your eyes out on that. Uh, it should be something that's a little exciting. Um, but you know, we'll see. Was it the 80 plus? <laughs> no, no, <laughs> no. Um, <laughs> listen, I, I get, I get emails all the time about like, they're like, Oh, is it 60 to 64 and 65 plus? And I'm like, yes. They're like, well, why isn't there a 70? And I'm like, cause you're 65 plus. Yeah. They, like you don't need anything else. <laughs> But no, but seriously, like here's the, 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 if, if there was demand for it, if there was like, I told the, and I told this lady very straight up, I'm like, if you can get me five men and five women, I'll make you a division. That's fine. I can That's do reasonable. That. Yeah. But if, if like, you're going to, you're going to be the only person that signs up, like I, I can't do that. And that, cause that throws off our schedule immensely. Mm-hmm. So, you know, it's just one of those things where if the demand's there, we'll, we'll make it happen. Yeah. And, and that's almost like the adaptive athletes too, because you have some division that, that may have like 10 people max maybe. Mm-hmm. And it's like not worth it for them to, to have it. So they'll just mix it in with like other people and other groups. The wild. And, you know, I've been, I've been lucky enough to work with two adaptive athletes, um, one upper and one lower and like the man, they get the short end. Like you think masters get those short end, like adaptive athletes, so I, the, the two, Amy Bream is one of the, the athletes and she has one leg and she's competing against people at the games that have two legs, like two mostly functioning legs. Like that's such a disadvantage. And then yeah. the same thing, same thing with uh, Jenny Tidwell. Um, she made the games last year. She's, you know, like that was her goal. And then, you know, she has to go against people that have two hands, like, now wheel wad does it right now they have separate divisions for everything and i i think that is i'm very very happy for them that that's how they went um because i just don't think it's fair to have someone with two hands going against someone that has one hand <laughs> yeah exactly you know? yeah 
Yeah. <clears throat> so do you guys do you guys collaborate with like each other to say like, hey, I mean, obviously the adaptive division and the masters are completely different from what mm -hmm. they are, but like for a competition wise, do you, have you guys like connected with each other saying, Hey, you know, we thought this was a good idea of, of doing it this way. You know, how did you um, do it or anything like that? Not, I mean, there, there hasn't been a lot of conversation. There hasn't been any conversation that I know of. Um, we've talked to the, the pit teen ranch a couple of times and, and we've, we, I've worked with them and, and discussed sponsorships and stuff like that with them. Um, but outside of that, you know, I, you know, I, there is apparently people think that there, there is something secret about putting on a competition. Um, and a lot of people just don't talk about it. I mean, it's, the, it's not rocket science. It's like, it's what I tell people about nutrition. I'm like, this is not rocket science. You know yourself better than anyone else. Mm -hmm. Like, so like start, start listening to yourself like and and it's it's not rocket science and and i don't know i think people just want to keep their cards close to their vest yeah yeah and also with uh with prize money too so i are you looking to like move the prize money up a little bit more or like how, how does obviously with, with you need more sponsors to get the prize money bigger so so the confusing part to me and it's always been this way is that like 80 percent of the spending in crossfit comes from masters athletes exactly so, you have a very captive audience who will buy your products. Like we had um, a company called Chili Goat, which is Ma Ma uh, Master Spas, and they sell cold plunges. And now these aren't just, a, this isn't a tank with some water in it. These things are like rocket ships. Mm -hmm. um, and they're like 10 grand. And we, they sold like, I think over five at our competition. Jeez. Like, so like, the money's there. Like these, these companies, they should, they should be like chomping at the bit to get a part of, of masters athletes, but no one seems to want to pony up. They all want, they all want the young pretty kids. Yeah. Cause they think the pretty kids will actually sell more stuff. And it, to be honest, it's like, it's a, that's not, that's not how it's working. It, it really doesn't. Um, you know, I mean, you look at like, like we just already talked about Ron, Ron works with master spots, like, like, that's that's the, the people you want to go after that's the people you want to give like the comp comp to, uh, spa to because they're going to sell it better than anyone else you know so I, I mean it's it's confusing to me it's always been confusing to me yeah yeah it's yeah i i, I don't get it because like for example you'll have some influencer that has like a million plus followers mm -hmm. And they're not making as enough they're not making as much money as a person that has maybe like 15 to 20,000 or even 10,000 because the 10,000 they get more views or like get the people like they feel like they're connected. So I don't understand like why a master's competition is not connecting with, you know, everyone else or, or bringing them in to connect. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't know. Do we have to go after AARP or like, do we have to go after like Gillette? I mean, what do we get it? What do we have to do is the question, you know? And I think that if these companies really want a, a piece of the CrossFit space, they should go after masters. Mm -hmm. you, you know what? You know, it was an interesting topic. I was watching the uh, Peter white coffee pods and wads that the beyond the whiteboard thing. Mm -hmm. And so they said, how can CrossFit like, would be a good sponsor for a uh, for sponsor for CrossFit. I think um, Seth from jump ship training, he said that visa should do something with, with CrossFit. And I'm like, that is an absolute genius idea. And then like use money towards like, you know, them being fit and getting exercise or whatnot. I, I, it was it's not verbatim, but it's like something to do with like movement and like getting data to visa yeah. and then they pay. And I'm like that, that's a genius idea. Like, why don't we get visa? I mean that Amex Amex is, I, I feel like Amex is like the old people's card. Yep. So like, you know, companies like that, I mean, they, they should, they should be a part of this. Um, you know, and it's just, getting them on the phone is the hardest part. Uh, it's like, you know, trying to pull teeth. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's like constantly like for me as a, I was a recruiter back in the day. So it's like, you're always on the phone, like every single day, like calling yeah. the same person. It's just like, yeah, it's crazy. But I was thinking you could also get Advil or Asper cream maybe yeah, on the, seriously. on the team or something like that. Just any, anything. Yeah. What, what's the, the, uh, the denture. Or gel. Yeah. Or like, uh, something <laughs> like that. Yeah. <laughs> You know anything for old people um, yeah blue emu 
Um, <laughs> yeah. Oh, man, that's awesome. Yeah, yeah.